Greetings fellow Gadgeteer enthusiasts. Often when there's a new release of Gadgeteer or the .NET Micro Framework, there's also usually an update required for your Gadgeteer mainboards. In this video, I'm going to walk you through doing an update to a Fez Spider mainboard. For this video, I'm using a fully updated 64-bit Windows 8.1 system running on an Alienware laptop that has both USB 2 and 3 ports. You can use either, but in this video I'm going to use one of the USB 3 ports. You require the Fez configuration application, which is installed with the GHI SDK, and a small screwdriver or other small tool or even a stiff wire to change the position of some small configuration switches and of course a gadgeteer power module to be used with your spire, spider mainboard. So how do you know if you need an update? Well like I said you need to use the uh, GHI Fez config tool. Now note this has to be run in administrator mode so we'll put it into run as admin and of course it pops up the warning asking us if we want to run this app and it, we do and so we'll bring it in here. So you can see that I have the Fez Spider, it's plugged in and so it shows up here under, with the USB device. So we can check this device for an update. And so it'll go out and it'll query the board and see what's on the board. And as you can see on this particular one, um, on my computer I have 4.3.4.0 uh, version, but the spider is loaded up with a 4.2 version of the loader and firmware. So you get a message here telling you that it's not up to date. So how do we update that? Well, the spider is really easy to update. So if you go up here under the advanced and then you go into, uh, you can select the Fez spider and so you click on that and then it's going to give you all the instructions that you need. So you can see on the, this particular machine I have 4.2 or 4.3 but it always defaults to the latest version so we're going to go 4.3 and the Fez config application knows where all the files are and then we're going to say next. Now in the middle of the Fez there's a small uh, set of four configuration switches so what we need to do is we need to change some of the positions of those switches. So I'm going to use this small screwdriver and hopefully I can do this so that you can see what I'm doing. So we come over here and we can see these small pins right in here and these are the guys we're going to move. So you can see right now they're all up. right? And you know, So basically they're all pointing towards the reset button. So now I'm going to move the pins from right to left. I'm going to move the three of them down. So there's one, two, and three. Now they move fairly easily. They will make a click when they switch over and so you know, there's no need to force them or anything but you know they are a little bit stiff as they should be. You don't want those things flopping around and so now if we just press the reset it should start the Fez Spider up in a boot mode. Now one way that we can check that is if we go into the device monitor or device manager and look underneath the COM ports, we can now see that the GHI bootloader interface is running. Now, that's on, on my machine, it's on COM6, but that's dependent entirely upon the machine. So now if we press the update, it'll work us through the process of updating both the loader and the firmware. So we'll hit that. It's just going to ask us, are you, you know, these are the files that you want. And again, you know, we just, I always do just a visual check. Yeah, they're the 4.3s. Uh, we can change the, the friendly name if we want. I always leave it just as default. Then we're going to get a message. Um, and so sometimes, like, if you, if, if you didn't set the pins right, it might not go into loader mode and then you go off and try and do the update. You'll get an error message. And so when you do a firmware and, and loader update, everything is updated. So if there's any applications or data on that on that made board that you're concerned about, well, when you do this, they're going to be gone. So you're going to basically end up with a factory fresh, clean main board. So we'll say, yep, we want to continue on. 
And so now what it's going to go through is it's going to go through and uh, erase the loader. It's going to put on a new loader. It's going to update the firmware and such. Now I have a number of Fez Spider main boards and I've been doing updates on these for, for some time and uh, I've never managed a brick one. I've never heard of anybody else that's been able to, to brick one, so I'm pretty sure that you're going to need thermal nuclear war in order to brick uh, a fed spider. These things are phenomenally uh, uh, reliable main boards. I like to think of them as kind of my Swiss Army knife of main boards that they can do pretty much anything. So they're a really good little main board, and they're really easy to update and keep updated. So as we see that the thing just works its way through, it's updating the firmware right now, so we're almost done. And then uh, when it's done, we're going to put the, those little switches back to their position, and then we're going to hit reset, and then we're done. So we see up here that the spider was updated successfully, and now it's telling us to put those switches back. So let's go back into here. I'll try and do this so you can see this. And again, you know, they move fairly easily. There's no need to force them. I'm kind of having fun here working me on the other side of my camera here. So I'm trying to get a good view of uh, what you're doing and what I'm doing here for you. So there's all my switches are back all up here. So now we press the reset button. And then we'll put that back down here. And then we'll go into the connection and we'll clear this output. We'll check the, dev the device for an update to see if our update went through. And as you can see now we have 4.3, uh, both the loader and the firmware. This Fed Spider board is good to go and uh, ready to be used in yet another, uh, another project that I'm working on. So I'd like to thank you for, uh, for watching this and and just to let you know that updating Gadgeteer main boards is really easy and the Fez Spider is probably the easiest board of all to update so far. Thank you very much and happy Gadgeteering.